Hey, how's it guys? In today's video, we're going to learn how to delete emails in Gmail using Gmail API with Python. So Gmail being the most popular email service today, nearly about 85% of emails that we get every day are junk mails. And if you are constantly deleting the same email every day, then using Gmail API to automate the task can save you tons of time. Now, before I dive into the tutorial, I want to go over the prerequisites first. So first, uh, make sure that you download the Google API source code uh, from my website first. And here's the uh, source code. And I'll link the link in the description below. And if you're new with Google API, so Gmail API, make sure that you watch my video on how to get started with Google APIs for Python development first. And those are the two requirements uh, I think you will need to uh, write the Python script. So here my Python script, I'm going to import the time module first. Then from Google APIs, I'm going to import a function called create service. Then I need to prepare the variables to create my Gmail service instance. So you can provide in my client secret file, the API that I want to create, and the permission scopes. Now for this exercise, I want to delete uh, these two emails in my email inbox. So both emails have almost similar uh, subject. So both email subjects start with delete this. Now let me go back to my VS Code. All right, so here I'm going to uh, select my environment first, and it's going to be uh, Google APIs. Now I'm going to merely run this code block to create my Gmail service instance first. So the first time when you're constructing your Gmail service instance, it's going to ask you to choose which account you want to use. So here I'm going to uh, use a different account. And once you log into your account, now click on events, then click on this link to proceed. Now I want to click on continue to grant permission to the app. And once you finish the authentication, going to see this message, the authentication flow has complete. You may close this window. Now I'm going to close this tab. Now there are a couple steps that we need to take. So the first step is going to be uh, search for the emails. This is going to be step one, search emails. All right, so here I'm going to insert a function, and this function is going to be used to search your emails in your inbox based on your query. Now let's look at the function's parameters first. So this function has two parameters, query and labels. So query is going to be your query string that you want to pass to this function to uh, search your emails. It can be based on subject, recipient, receiver, or email's timestamp. And the second parameter is going to be uh, asking for the email's uh, labels. So in email, we can have uh, different labels. So for example, uh, from my inbox, on the left-hand side, we have uh, different labels, such as social, update, forms, promotions. If we go into manage labels, these are all the labels I currently have in my Gmail account. Now going back to my inbox. So on the top, my query is going to be subject. So this indicates that uh, what field I want to use and followed by the keyword I want to search for. And I want to search all my emails that contain delete this. Now I'm going to copy my query string. And here I'm going to create a variable. And I'll name the variable query string. And I'll insert the query that I was using before. Now I'm going to insert the search emails function. And I'll pass my query string. And I'll name the outputs email results. Now let me go ahead and run these two lines. And here are my search email. Oh, so let me go ahead and create my function first. All right, so if I go ahead and run these two lines, if I print email results, and it's going to return a list with two items. So each item represents uh, each email. So here we have the email's ID and the email's third ID. Now I want to make sure that uh, those are the correct emails that I want to delete. So what I can do here is I can uh, print the email's detail. So I'm going to uh, iterate each email message from the email results list. So I'm going to say for email result in email results. And from the Gmail service object, 
dot users dot messages. Want to use the get method to return the email's uh, detail. Right, so here we need to uh, provide the email address, but since uh, the account belongs to me, so I can use the special word me to represent the uh, authenticated email account. And for the format, I'm going to uh, return everything. So I'm going to uh, type for, and the parameter is going to be ID. So from email result, I want to reference the ID key that execute. Now I'm naming the outputs email detail. Now I want to print the email detail object at the end. Now if I run this loop, it's going to return a lot of information from each email message. So I'm not going to go into full detail on um, uh, what information I return it per email object. I'll go over that in a separate email. But for now, I just want the email subject. So let me take a look. If I print the keys, now let me take a look at uh, what snapper returns. So the snapper will only return a small portion of the email message. Then we need to use the payload key. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. Now let me do a search. So I'm going to use the shortcut Control F, and I want to search for delete this. So here's our subject. Right. So how should I do this? Uh, let's see. Right. So this is going to be a little bit complicated. Uh, so for now, I don't want to uh, spend too much time on this. So at this point, what I will do uh, to verify. This query string is going to return the emails that I want to do is by copy the query string, then go into your email inbox, then simply uh, paste the query in the search field, then see what email is going to get returned based on your query string. Now to delete the emails, so let me come out uh, this code block. So this is going to be step two, delete emails. Now to delete the emails, so I can uh, insert another loop for email result in email results. Now I want to reference my Gmail service object dot users dot messages dot trash. Inside the trash method, we need to provide the user ID and the email ID that I want to delete. So it's going to be email result and I want to reference the ID key. That execute. Now let me go ahead and terminate this session. I want to run the Python script from scratch. Now if I press F5 to run the script, now it's deleting the uh, first thing. Actually, I have a print statement. So let me come out the print statement. But the Python script is finished. So if I go back to my Gmail inbox, and I can see that uh, those two emails are now deleted. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.